<laughs> Sydney Markets is the largest market in the Southern Hemisphere. No deal? Sydney Markets provides fresh produce for one third of Australia's population. I couldn't live without it. Yeah, mate, well, that's, that's our life. That's life inside the markets. So come on and have a look. That's it. Tonight, the language of the markets. The famous cherry auction. Do you think it twins? No. It's always one of those things that's always going to be a mystery to us until the final hammer falls. And the charity doesn't stop there as we feed those in need. The clients we feed love it. They enjoy being looked after and made to feel special for the for an hour every day. And life inside the markets for a less than typical truckie. So I'm just by myself in Australia, so just me and my truck. <laughs> It's still dark, but Provador David Ballantyne is on the march. Back in Maruya, south of Sydney, the local greengrocer is sprucing up his store and about to call in his order. David, good morning. Hey, Steve. How are you going? Excellent. How's it going in there? Uh, first thing, quality is um, spectacular this morning here in the markets. Awesome. Today, like all days, David needs the seasonal uh, best. Red caps and stuff like that, that's all good. So you'll call us when it's all packed? Yep, no worries at all. Perfect. All right, Dave, cheers. No worries. Thank you very much. Speak to you later, bye. Josh? Yeah, we've been fortunate enough to be entrusted with Steve and Kate's produce buying since they purchased the shop around about 12 months ago. Have a look at the navel. Just out of curiosity. Because he's... He's, he's been asking for navels. Well, they've been asking, and I said, look, it's way too early yet. I think so. I'm their eyes and ears here in the market. Just give me three. Three on the way, sir? Yeah. 28s? No, 25s. I got 25s yesterday. So if I see something, I think it might, it might show them value to them, their customers. Yeah, no, they're all right. That size is not too bad for what we need. And I get on the phone and say, hey, this is yeah, looking good today. Sure, yeah. How about we do this at that price? Or, look, he's asking $10, I might offer him six and see how we go. That's what we do. He's a very fussy customer. <laughs> he wants everything the best for nothing. Where'd you go there, David? Any good? No, nah, not good enough. Well, we're on a time frame. I've had a phone call from the truck driver already asking what time the load's going to be ready. He needs to get in here, get it done, loaded and down to Murray as quick as possible. So I don't have a lot of time to muck around. Turns out money isn't the only yeah. thing that speaks all, right, all languages. Yes, sir. Charlie, bonjour. Come over. Thank you, Grazie. Come stay. What's the word? Poco for Fred, the one. Look at this, huh? Ciao. Bonjour. Come over, ciao. Come over. I speak a bit of Italian, Greek, Lebanese, Tongan. Biffy, hucky. Sapi. Malo, malo, huh? Malo, malo. Malo. Hey, Tom, bon John. All right. Well, we, yeah, we work with a lot of people, and the best way to show respect is understand some of their language and some of the words that are that are important to them. And it's a it's a melting pot of nations in here, and we all respect each other. We all do our work, but it's a it's a wonderful way to to learn different things, and languages is one of them. As for the language of money, the first box of cherries arrived. For 30 years it's been auctioned. It's just one of the many charitable events conducted by Sydney Markets, which has seen them raise more than a million dollars. But this is a very special year. We're raising money from people in the markets to see if we can buy the cherries next week in honour of uh, the memory of our dear friend uh, Louis Chico. Louis uh, was known as Mr Charity in the markets, he was always the guy involved with the cherry auction. He actually bought the cherries on a number of occasions. We called him Mr. Charity. 
His loss earlier on this year is a great loss to the markets, but we want to do something in his memory. Well, we've been talking to a lot of the, of the storeholders in the markets. Mark Vincent. Mark Vincent, our Sydney Markets Foundation ambassador, great singer who was able to give up some of his time before he goes off to do another singing engagement. Sign it One Direction, my daughter will love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's no mistaking this one, the Marrick for more. <laughs> We've got Jeff Fennick, world champion uh, boxer. We've got some football players with us from the Canterbury Bulldogs. And we're just going around talking to the people in the markets and hoping that they uh, they might be able to, uh, to throw in a few dollars. Great cause, great charity. And Louis was a great man. Good, how are you? We just trying to raise some money. Yep. Save our son's horse and we'll be trying to buy the first horse of this cherry. How you go? How you going, mate? Strong bass. This is one thing. All the food and vegetables. <laughs> what do you say? Beautiful, thank you. Thank you very much. Send you out of a seat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How much do you want to play? It's been a very good reception so far. People seem as they're on board with this. We don't know what the figure will be. We probably won't know till the morning itself as to how much we've actually got. But certainly, we've got people that are right on side wanting to do something to uh, to help Louis's memory. The cherries are a good avenue to, to achieve that, uh, that goal. And also, to the people at large, to the general public, this has been a signal of the start of the cherry season. I know that you see me and you want to run. Yeah, now, before welcome. he changes his mind. No, no, no. Be <laughs> yours. In uh, honour of Louis, we're not putting anybody on the throne, and we really want to thank Ben and the Chico family for being so much part of this. As the sun rises on Sydney markets, one of the great Australian volunteer institutions arrives, Oz Harvest. What have you got for us? Come and have a look. So, what have we got today? Uh, yeah, a bit oh, of a selection. Beautiful. Beautiful red capsicum and yellow capsicum. Oranges and beautiful vitamin C. This is produce that to us looks perfectly good, but it's just not sellable in the market. That's correct. I mean, we're lucky because what we're going to do is give it to people who need it most. That's right. Thank you so much, Troy. We're going to go into the markets too and see what the other suppliers have got for us. We get plenty today. I hope so. Can you help us? Sure will. <laughs> You're going to load it in I'll for load us? It into the van, no yeah. worries. Thank you so much. No worries. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ronnie Khan and Oz Harbour save food and they give it to people who need it. Amazing produce, but it is, isn't it? I love it. We just need that box of lemons for our lemonade. That would be perfect. Where's Frank? Good morning. I know that you see me and you want to run. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all good. It's all good. The markets have partnered with Oz Harvest since the beginning. I need lemons, please. Luscious lemons. Those are so beautiful. How will they go? Stunning. I think this will go a treat. Yep. You'll make the best lemon. Okay. All right. Now, You're before welcome. he changes his mind. No, no, no. Be yours. Be yours. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Cheers. Oh. Off we go. Today's food is destined for a lunch for those who otherwise would go hungry. Back in the markets, preparations are underway for the cherry auction. The big picture is to support some of our local charities that really need a helping hand and to highlight the generosity of our market people. Got no idea who's going to bid for them today. It's always one of those things, it's always going to be a mystery to us until the final hammer falls. It'll all start happening now. The cherries have arrived. They're still under lock and key at the moment, but. The cherry auction is the epitome of what Sydney Markets is all about, really. I mean, these guys and girls here get up at a ridiculous hour every morning, three or four o'clock while we're still in bed, to make sure we get the freshest and best fruit and veggies there is. But this is what it's all about. We've been doing this for over 30 years, the cherry auction, raising money for sick kids and other great charities around the place. It is amazing. I love the cherry auction and I love Sydney Markets. You rock, guys. 
the cherry auction is very close to my heart, something that I really love. This market is incredible with the amount of generosity it has, and I'm just glad to be part of it. So I think it's like my eighth year in a row now I've performed here. So it's something very close to my heart. Just putting the cape on the, the chair, ready for the to crown the king or queen with the winning bid. With every cent going to charity. Mate, I got, I got a price, and uh, the wallet's pretty heavy at the moment, but I'm not going to tell you what the price is. But like, let me say I'm going to have a red hot crack. The sentimental favourite is Louis Chico's son, Ben. We're going to do our best to bid, um, and hopefully we get it for, for Dad's behalf. Um, and yeah, it'll be good if we can, but look, there's a lot of competition out there. Everyone wants a bit of it, so a bite of the cherry to, to use a pun. So yeah, hopefully we get it for Dad. $3,000. We've got three to get rolling. The wholesalers raised their funds to give to Ben so he could bid in memory of his dad. Bidding is fast and furious. $50,000 once, $50,000 twice, $50,000 for the third and final time are we all done and sold for $50,000. Woo it's a fantastic result for, for the cherry auction, for Save Our Sons, and, and more importantly for, for Dad and his legacy with the, with the cherry auction in the past. In uh, honour of Louis, we're not putting anybody on the throne, and we really want to thank Ben and the Chico family for being so much part of this. May this legacy continue and live, live on in his name for many, many years to come. To Save Our Sons, one of Dad's favourite charities, may his spirit continue to be supportive and always be alongside you in your endeavours to find a cure. Thank you. Another great day, another great cherry auction, um, and it's been an honour for us to do it in Louis' honour. Guy taught me everything I know. Tell him, Guy. We know all about tomatoes. I've been growing tomatoes since 1957. That's why we're professional in tomatoes. Well, I'm just by myself in Australia, so just me and my truck. <laughs> When you work in the markets, you see trucks by the thousand. You also see truckies in all shapes and sizes, proving if you've seen one truckie you haven't seen them all, is a Swiss miss who used to be a nurse. Before I was a nurse, and I changed life in Switzerland and I passed my license for the truck. So I'm just by myself in Australia, so just me and my truck. <laughs> And a mighty big truck it is. Yeah, sometimes I miss my family. No life, no friends. Alors ce soir, je conduis mon magnifique gros bébé avec des pommes succulentes depuis Orange et je viens livrer euh, au marché, au grand marché de Sydney à Flemington et, et c'est vraiment des excellentes pommes. <laughs> et j'adore ces pommes <laughs> et j'adore mon métier et... et voilà je suis vraiment très chanceuse d'être ici <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Year, David has left chasing tomatoes for Southland's Maruya. Al, bonjour. Come on, All I need is just one good Roma. One of those big ones like yeah, those yeah, ones? Yeah, or one size down even. Yep. And then just two smaller ones as well, please. Something like... Just pretend anyway, but that's... Just bigger ones at the... You've got some bigger stuff over there. Yeah, and the smaller ones... ones not too well, scatara. Not too scatara. Not too much scatara. Not, not scatara. Not, not scatara scatar. for you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> scatara means bad quality. You've got to give it... Dave likes to have number one quality, which he deserves. Looks after the shops and all the rest of it, so you've got to give Dave the best. He knows, I know what he wants, and he knows I know what he wants. And if I don't do it right, he kicks my bum. <laughs> Guy taught me everything I know. Tell him, Guy. We know all about tomatoes. I've been growing tomatoes since 1957. We come in Australia in 1954. We start growing tomatoes. That's why we're professional in tomatoes. We look after tomato growers. Because without the growers, you haven't got a business. 
And without the shopkeepers, we haven't got a business. And you're a battler, eh? Like Dad said, you're a battler. We are battlers. You are a battler. We are, we are, we are, but we're not battlers, but we're workers. But you're a battler. We are workers. But see, see this, see this jacket here. It doesn't mean he drives one. He drives a ute. But <laughs> he knows someone that's got got something like this. Yeah. He's a battler. We're gonna go. Have a good day. Frankie, how much on the mini eggplant? Seven bucks for the whole pallet. One, fresh mark. All right, let's go. It's time to head back and load the truck. So all we're doing here is just consolidating the order. There's, there's the need to have certain product on certain pallets. Oh, the truck's here. The trip is some 320 kilometres each way. It takes over four hours, so two different drivers are needed. One to get the truck to the markets, and one to transport the produce back to the store. It's an oasis of peace and safety. I'd like to thank all of the volunteers because we couldn't exist without them. This is Reverend Bill Crew's church in Asheville, the inner west of Sydney, home to the Exodus Foundation, feeding the needy for nearly 30 years. We're known for food and, and food distribution and, and providing a hot meal. For me, Exodus was something that I was, I was drawn to. And I've been a chef for 30 years plus. Yeah. And it's a really good environment to be able to put all your skills and, uh, and knowledge into for, for a good course. What about some butter nut for your pumpkin Absolutely. soup? Thanks, guys. OK, thanks, heaps. Enjoy. Cheers, bye. It's just one of the many charitable stops for Oz Harvest. So, Chef, we're all, Chris, is all good, ready for lunch? Ready for 11.30. What's on the menu today? We've got a beautiful fresh seafood pasta bake today. Good. So, basically, the kitchen's operational from about 7 in the morning till 11 at night, seven days a week. Beautiful. I think we'll do about 400 for lunch today. You know, one thing we're never short of is demand, so we like to be ahead of, ahead of our game. We've just uh, had our morning volunteers have cleaned up at 10 o'clock and now we have the, the handover to the lunch volunteers as the clock ticks down to 11.30, ready for another busy Friday lunch. We get the same produce as hotels in the city to all the way out to the country in the west. There's nothing we don't get here. It's always the best. It is challenging to see people when they're sad stories, but then it's also nice to be a part of the process where you can, you know, give them a really nice meal, a nice safe environment, a nice clean environment. It's an oasis of peace and safety. I'd like to thank all of the volunteers because we couldn't exist without them. And this is my family here. These are the people that I love who care about me. What have got today? I'll take it. Take that one. There you go. No, not bread, not butter. No bread, so there you go. The clients we feed love it. They enjoy being looked after and made to feel special for the for an hour every day. I mean, they need a good feed. And we make sure we produce a very high quality meal. If it's not good enough for me to eat, it doesn't go out of this kitchen. That's the rule. I do feel very fulfilled getting this opportunity on a daily basis to uh, to definitely support and work for the Exodus Foundation and you know fulfill our primary goal which is to give every person that comes through here a meal without judgment or persecution. They're all saints. They're beautiful people and I love them all. Thank you. Back on the road to Maruya, home to just under 3,000 people, including Dragons football star Michael Wayman, and a local store with the freshest produce in town 
direct from Sydney Markets. The driver Brett would be at the markets at 7.30, probably leave at 8.30, and it arrives here in between 3.30 and 5.30 usually. So it's a pretty big day. Dave and, and Charlie that we actually work with, uh, pretty brisk in getting us into the market and getting us loaded to get us out, to get us down here earlier, to get us home earlier. So the yeah, earlier we're in the market and back out, happy, happy chappies, happy wife, happy life. Yeah, we should be here shortly, hey? Yeah, I think he's on the phone. Have we had the phone call yet? Yeah. Yeah, he um, puts in the hours and he's had to do five days work in three this week, so um, we'll see <laughs> We'll see what state he is in when he gets here. Uh, here we are, just, just coming into Southlands Fruit and Veg at sunny downtown Maruya. Uh, another trip completed in safety. And uh, our fridge motor's working a green with the fruit down at six degrees. Uh, hopefully uh, Steve and Katie are satisfied or happy with the job we've done again today. Um, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Maria's favourite fruit, I think it'd definitely be peaches. Come from! Good night, y'all.